there were a lot of expectations around the uh, budget uh, and it was so expected that given the um, crisis uh, which has been around the nbfcs for quite some time now and that the financial sector service financial services sector as such including banks and nbfc have not been doing well uh, there were a lot of hopes which were pinned around this budget uh, uh, and it was so expected that uh, there would certainly be announcements which would which would you know kind of propel the entire sector and which will then help uh, in terms of kind of picking up the entire uh, the demand cycle which is which looks which so looks as if you know right now going down uh, the finance minister did uh, touched upon the edges it did uh, mention in its budget that uh, uh, the nbfc sector is crucial and that uh, there should not be undue conservatism in lending to these nbfcs uh, which are so important for development of the nation uh, but as such you know there was no major boost provided to the nbfc space so the liquidity window which has been provided for banks to buy uh, portfolio from the higher rated nbfcs uh with a kind of a guarantee to the extent of 10% coming from the uh, from the government is definitely a plus but then uh, we'll have to look into the nitty gritties of what this higher rated uh, um uh, higher rated uh, nbfcs and higher rated credit uh, which could be purchased would really mean would whether it will be a double a or a triple a or an a rated nbfc we don't know as of now secondly uh typically this would only help those higher highly leveraged nbfcs which would want to uh, have some you know liquidity on board who would like to downsell their assets or their portfolio uh, a, a, a decently performing nbfc which is not leveraged to that extent is a double a rated would want to build a portfolio rather than downsell it to some lender for the ease of liquidity so Uh, the larger need of the hour was that the the credit to the sector to the nbfc sector follow uh, flows as it was earlier uh, with the support of you know public sector lenders now of course government has announced that there will be a 70000 uh, capital infusion into the public sector banks also uh, but again we need to see the quantum nature and the timings when this money flows into this in, in, into these banks because earlier also such announcements have been made but it has it has not really had an impact on the sentiment uh, over the working of this public sector banks so even now uh, most of the public sector banks are shying away from credit uh, we have not really seen any major capital formation fixed assets formation and uh, the expectation from this budget was that the government would take in some steps so that you know the process of capital formation starts which would definitely begin when the public sector the nbfc banks start lending so uh, i think you know the government just uh, touched upon the edges but finally did not give any major boost to the sector as such uh, which can really you know lift the sentiments across the center or help these uh, nbfcs or banks uh, in the medium to short term uh, as more clarity comes on the policies in terms of uh, the kind of investment that will come into the public sector banks the time period as well as, well as uh, what defines a good rated nbfc probably there will be more clarity around it but as of now uh, i would say uh, there is no real major boost on ground in this budget uh, that's my take on the on the on the financial services sector on this budget